friends uh, attend my tale. In the 20s and 30s, there was a traveling musician by the name of Anthony E. Pratt, and he would find himself in country hotels where the party games would inevitably lead to these murder mystery games to uh, entertain and delight the gentry. Years later, 1944, Mr. Pratt found himself, due to the unfortunate World War II occurring just outside his door, in the employ of a tank manufacturer. This was a very dull job, but it left him plenty of time to think. And he thought back on those games of murder mystery. He found himself creating a game of his own, a board game that he called... Wait, Justin, Justin, are you just talking about the history of Clue? Who, who the hell is going to watch a video about the history of Clue? Well, no, Russ, actually, it was, he called it murder at first. I mean, yes, you already played the stupid intro and ruined my whole Paul Harvey thing. It was going to be a big surprise. But yeah, it, I mean, it was Clue. Yeah, he was making Clue. Uh, we, but we like, we agreed that I could do the history part and could you? Yeah, so, no, can, you're right. You just, sorry, sorry. My, my bad. Can you just let me get through it? I forgot. I forgot like what I was. Okay, so he made up the game while he was working at the tank place. And then he and his wife, Elva, continued to refine the game. She actually did the original board art. And in 1945, they sold it to a board game company called Waddington's. And uh, they they called it Cluedo is what Waddington changed the name to. What the hell is a Cluedo? A, well, Cluedo is a combination of the word clue and the word ludo, which is Latin for play. Oh my God, Latin. I know, it's insufferable, but they actually had precedent for it in the UK. Parcheesi, which is also a terrible name, is called ludo there. So people knew the term going in. It's a little more established vocabulary. So. Okay, cross-branding, I get it. Uh, right, it, it's just like Parcheesi, but with <laughs> murder now. They uh, decided to call it Cluedo. Now, this was in 1945, but because of shortages caused by the war, they weren't actually able to manufacture the game until 1949. And originally, Clue was marketed as the, this is a quote, the great new Sherlock Holmes game. There is no Sherlock Holmes in Clue. No, there's no Sherlock Holmes. Or Cluedo, Holmes. for that matter. Or Cluedo, or any permutation, except for one, which we'll talk about later. But uh, no, Sherlock Holmes wasn't in it. They just paid a, a, a license fee to the Sir Arthur Conan Doyle estate and were allowed to use Sherlock Holmes uh, at, at the outset, but by 1950, it was just called The Great Detective Game. Justin, do you know how to play Clue? Let's say I don't, you know, just for the video. So Clue, basically very simple premise. There's a murder in a house and everyone needs to figure out who the murderer was, how the murder was committed, and where the murder was committed by guessing these three cards. The cards are placed in an envelope in the center of the board and players move around the map landing in certain spaces and then threatening people, pointing them out and saying, you did the murder with this weapon in this room. And if you guess right, you win. So the original suspects were Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, Mrs. White, Reverend Green, Miss Peacock, and Professor Plum. So Mrs. White was actually just killed off very recently and was replaced by a biologist named Dr. Orchid. Uh, Dr. Orchid also in her uh, biography says she w studied under Mrs. White. So a little extra layer there of characterization. And then maybe killed her. And then possibly killed her. We don't know. Today, as you'll notice, I'm cosplaying as one of my favorite clue characters, Dr. Slimeball, the, the, <laughs> the creep. So originally there were 10 characters. A bunch of them got cut. Mr. Brown, for example. Of course, no one wants to play as Mr. Brown. There was Mr. Gold, Miss Gray, Mrs. Silver. And a few of the classic characters were actually changed. So Nurse White became Mrs. White and Colonel Yellow became Colonel Mustard, which is decidedly more badass. Yeah, it's way cooler, I guess. There's also been a few of the rooms that have changed. So originally there was a gun room and a cellar. Uh, both of those got axed. And speaking of axes, a bunch of weapons got removed as well from the original design. There was a bomb, a syringe, a shillelagh, if you want to get really cultural, fireplace poker, and an axe, as I mentioned, and poison. No, I don't know why most of those were eliminated, but I have a pretty good guess about bomb. That would be a pretty quick case. <laughs> which room was it? Yeah. Uh, the blown up one. And which weapon? Well, that room's blown up. So. <laughs> so when Parker Brothers bought the game and moved it to the U.S., they actually changed the name to Clue then because no one in the U.S. knew what the hell Cluedo was. So they made a few other minor changes. Dr. Black was the original guy that died. That was changed to Mr. Body. 
and they also changed a few of the characters. So the Reverend Green was changed to Mr. Green because apparently in the U.S., people don't like reverends as murderous psychopaths. Makes sense. Makes sense. I, should, I know I don't. I find that very distasteful. Justin, are you ready to talk about strategy? Hit me with the pro tips, Russ. There is one piece that you should actually play as all the time, and her name is Mrs. Peacock. Right. Because she starts closer to any of the rooms. So she can start investigating earlier. That makes sense. What if I can't get Miss Peacock? If you can't get Miss Peacock, Professor Plum is the way to go because he can access a secret passageway into the kitchen, which is really a hard room to get to otherwise. You should also know that there are some pro strategies in terms of blocking people from rooms. You could stand in a doorway and people cannot go into that room. So you can keep them from investigating it. Exactly. It is very in-depth yeah. standing High in level. the doorway. They basically took that from uh, if there's an earthquake going on or there's a murder that's going on, doorway is the place to be. Now, as you know, Clue goes way bigger than just uh, this one board game. That is also extended to licensing. There are a ton of different licensed versions of Clue. I'm going to read the entire list for you now. I'm not even going to pretend like I've got this memorized. Here we go. <clears throat> Alfred Hitchcock edition, The Simpsons, Dungeons and Dragons, The Haunted Mansion, Scooby-Doo, Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror, Harry Potter, 24, The Office, Juicy Couture, Family Guy, SpongeBob SquarePants, Sherlock, Big Bang Theory, Supernatural, and of course, Seinfeld. Newman in Monks with the puffy shirt. Precisely. Now, in the early 90s, there was a game show version of Cluedo that aired in the UK. Uh, this would pair a celebrity and a law enforcement professional as a team, and two teams would compete against each other. Uh, to get the clues to the murder for that week's episode, they would watch these staged sequences with real actors portraying the different characters, and then they would get a chance to interview the actors playing the characters uh, to, to ask them about the murder. And only the murderer was permitted to lie. The rest had to tell the truth. So they would have to make their deductions based on that. There are four seasons of that show, and then there were different versions adapted to Germany, Italy, France, Portugal, Scandinavia, and Australia. There was a VHS game uh, that, uh, there were two of those that players would watch stage scenes, much like the game show, and they would see uh, actors portraying the characters and have to solve the murder based on clues that they uh, uh, observed there. Now in 2011 on the Hub Network, just keep clicking up on the remote, if you have cable, you might find it eventually. Uh, there was a five part mini series on the Hub uh, based loosely on Clue. This had teens playing uh, the six characters, they weren't actually called like Miss Scarlet and Mr. Green. They were uh, teens sort of like based on those characters. And they murdered each other? They did not <laughs> murder each other, Russ. No, they all, Drag. Pres presumably they all made it through. There have been a bunch of different Clue video games uh, on a bunch of different platforms. There was a point and click adventure called Clue Chronicles Fatal Illusion, as well as an FMV version that was released on the CDI and the PC platform. As a lover of FMV games, have you played any of these? Uh, I have not, but you better believe the moment I read about them, I bought that some bitch on eBay. Here's the CDI version. Woo! Whoa, yeah. so dedicated. <laughs> it should make a great companion piece to this, which I already owned. That's Clue to the VHS game. Uh, Hell yeah. It's, it's, it's fun for the whole family. How cool am I? Well, I'm so cool, I actually made a DVD rip of the VHS tape so I wouldn't have to fight with uh, finding a VCR. And yes, I did make my own stylized magnifying glass right on there. So it's a really nice professional looking product. You know, it's for the love of the game. And that game is Clue. That game is Clue. Have there been any other formats of Clue? Well, there was a musical version. So let the game begin. It was, uh, came out off-Broadway in 1997 and closed in 1999. It People was hated it, right? Widely panned, widely panned. Uh, still performed by some local theaters that actually had uh, uh, different endings. 216, actually, depending on uh, a random selection at the beginning of the show, and the audience could kind of play along, f try to figure out how it was going to end. A similar premise was used for a Clue straight play uh, with the multiple endings. Uh, that The license to that is not currently available, and some people have theorized it's because Hasbro is still trying to get a film version going. Another one. Another one, exactly, because there already is a magnificent film uh, star studded? Is that, can I say star studded? Sure. Is that Madeline Kahn was at the Madeline height of her Kahn career at that time? Madeline Kahn is in it. Tim Curry is in it. Martin Mull. 
uh, Christopher Lloyd. It's got a, it's got a lot of great performers in it. It was really really critically panned. Again, when it came out, um, it barely uh, failed at making back its fifteen million dollar budget. But interesting thing happened because it bombed so badly. The uh, tapes of the movie that were distributed to uh, video stores were wildly discounted. Now at this point. Uh, videotapes could cost as much as a hundred bucks. So they were deeply discounted so video stores could get them uh, more cheaply and it made it really widely available. And partially because of this, it's become kind of a cult classic for people. Yeah, I feel like I watched that like hundreds of times as a kid. Not only VHS, but on TV where it must've been super cheap as well. Yeah, another interesting thing about the Clue movie is that it had multiple endings. It was distributed to different theaters with different endings, three in total. And uh, when you see it, of course, on TV or in home video, it has all of them sort of strung together. So just to wrap things up, it's no mystery that Clue is an enduring board game and will continue to be so for years to come. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our brief history of Clue in video form. I have one other bit of trivia for you, Russell. Oh, great. Shoot. And though it's not about Clue specifically, I think you'll find it extremely captivating nonetheless. I'm pregnant. <gasps> and you're the father. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Now I'm going to go home and sleep with my wife. game supposedly uh some permutations of the rules say you can play with uh two to six players but that's madness right i don't know how you would play with two people you can't play with two people because you could get it in one guess that's that's nonsense yeah that seems like a really bad idea terrible idea